today. What? You want to be in this, do you? Is that it? You sit down there. Can you not see I'm busy? What can you do? You either sit there or you go over there. Well, go away then. You want him back, don't you? Right, come on. This is a normal day for me. Anyway, today we are going to be reviewing this. It's a digital photo frame from a company called B Bishoy. Uh, it's a 10.1 inch digital photo frame. Now it might be made by Bishoy, but it was actually sent to me by uh, KNF Concept. So a big thank you to KNF for sending me this, but as always, this is not paid or sponsored in any way, shape or form. Now I have a photo frame myself. This is actually my photo frame. This is a NYX. It's a 15 inch uh, display as opposed to a 10 inch. So this is obviously a lot bigger, a lot heavier, a lot more expensive. That sent me back about 160 pounds, which is double the price at this because this is on KNF's website currently for $80. So that's, I don't know, whatever the exchange rate is these days, somewhere around about 80 quid, I imagine. Now, obviously, you'd kind of expect this to be cheaper than the Nix because it's a 50% smaller screen. However, Nix also do a 10-inch version of their screen, and that is £100 on Amazon. So it's £20 more expensive than this. So how good is this for 80 quid? Well, the first thing we need to do is get an unboxing. So this is the Bishoy screen. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. That is a hell of a lot of fingerprints for a uh, screen that's just come out of the box. That's because this isn't the first time I've unboxed it. I actually shot this last night um, where I unboxed it and I unpeeled the protective layer and everything. Except when I come to edit it this morning, I realized that that camera was pointing in the wrong place. So. So I decided I'd, I'd reshoot it, and now I've just told you that I'm reshooting it. Ah, well. Anywho, it's a pretty standard-looking photo frame. Um, there's nothing alarming about it, but by the same token, there's nothing to really write home about. The screen itself takes up a fairly good proportion of the overall frame from the front. The bezels around the side are, are fairly, fairly small, so they don't look out of place. The only noticeable differences between this and my NYX photo frame, and I use the term noticeably very loosely, is firstly this, which I believe is the motion sensor. On the NYX, that's actually recessed into the frame, whereas this, it's stuck over the top, so it, it kind of bubbles out a little bit. That and the branding on the side. On the NYX, the branding is a small embezzled logo in the top corner that you can barely see. The Bishoy is a painted logo in kind of very glossy paint in the bottom corner. And uh, for my mind, it's a little bit distracting. Not that you'd really notice it all that much. But for me, I'd like with a photo frame, nothing distracting on the front at all. So I think that Bishoy logo might have actually been better as either a darker paint, so it's a lot harder to see, or even just engrave it and not have it painted at all. You know, the frame feels pretty good. I mean, it's mostly plastic. There's a little bit of play when you wiggle it, but not a huge amount. At the end of the day, you know, you're not really bashing this thing around. It's going to be sitting on the table or nailed to your wall. So this actually looks a sleeker design than the NYX as well. The NYX is kind of really thick all the way across, whereas this is as thin as can be all the way around the edge. And then it's just that center block where it protrudes out. Button control's fairly standard. You've got a power on off button, you've got a menu button, you've got uh, controls for skipping through images or pausing um, and playing images, and then also a volume control. Why have you got volume control for a photo frame? Very good point. 
because this isn't just a photo frame. It actually performs multiple tasks. So you can play pictures, you can also play videos, you can play music, and you can also access your calendar as well. It is worth noting as well that the NYX and most photo frames these days will do all of that as well. So this isn't anything new. On the side, you've got ports for an SD card, a headphone jack, a full-size USB port for taking pen drives. You've also got a, is it a micro or a mini USB port? Not the USB port that goes onto the bottom of most phones these days. The one that's bigger than that, that one. And you also get a DC input here for powering off the mains because this isn't a battery powered photo frame, it's a mains photo frame and you get a mains plug in the box. In the box, you also get a small plastic stand. So this simply just clicks into the bottom there and then you have a frame on a table. Also in the box, you get a small remote as well. The remote's pretty standard, it's just a little infrared remote. You can use it to access the menus, um, skip through images or play and pause videos, so on and so forth. There is, as I mentioned earlier as well, a motion sensor on the front here. That's because with this, what you can set it up to do is rather than be on all the time, you can set it to detect when there's movement in the room. So. Once there's been no movement for a period of time, it will power itself down. As soon as it detects movement again, it starts itself back up. The NYX has a facility like that as well, but I'll be honest, I don't use it. Um, I instead set mine up so that it's on a timer. Because I know for the most part, the only times I'm ever really around to view it are in the evenings. So I've got mine to come on from about three o'clock in the afternoon, and then it'll go off at about 11 o'clock at night. So that's the Bashoi powered up. Apparently it's still 2018, who knew? But you can also set uh, power on and power off times with this as well. So you can set when it comes on and when it goes back off again. While we're on the menu as well, using this one thing I have noticed is it's pretty laggy trying to load things up. It takes quite a bit of time to jump from one menu to the next. The Nix is a whole lot smoother. Now, I realize that's probably not that big a deal because likelihood is you will get the thing, set it up once, put it on a wall or set it up on a table and probably never go into the menus ever again. But it is worth noting there is a noticeable delay from when you actually push the button on a remote to the thing reacting. So if you're somebody with no patience at all, this might not be the screen for you because I imagine that this will probably get thrown at it very quickly. However, it's all well and good me talking about a laggy menu or the external design of the frame, but let's be honest, you buy a photo frame for the screen, for displaying pictures. That's kind of the main point of it. So how well does this display images? Well, I figured the only way that I can really test it is to set this up side by side with the NYX. Yes, the Bashoi also takes quite a bit of time loading up some pictures as well. It's certainly a lot slower than the NYX for jumping between pictures. Now again, I will note that the images that I've put on here are pretty big. I've not downsized them in any way, shape or form. If you were to be putting images on here, it might be worth scaling them down to more the size that the screen displays, which incidentally, the resolution of this is 1024 by 600, I believe. Ah, here we go. Right, we've finally got two in the same image. And yeah. Okay, noticeable difference between these two straight off the bat. The Bashoi is uh, certainly a cooler image than the Nix. Incidentally, for reference, here is the original file. This is the file that I copied onto both of these SD cards. So the Bashoi display doesn't really... I am going to kill you. Oi, pack it in. So the Nix gives you a more accurate representation of what your file originally looks like. The Bashoi, the screen just looks a little cold for my liking. And incidentally, in the menus, I can't see any way of changing that. You can change the contrast and the brightness, but there's no obvious settings for adjusting any colors either. In terms of viewing angles as well, side to side, both of them do a pretty good job to be fair. 
up and down, you actually find the Bashoi starts to lose it a little sooner than the, the Knicks. Although, in fairness, you tend to put photo frames around about eye level anyway, so it's more the side-to-side -side view and angle. Both of them do a pretty good job. So I'd say the Bashoi gets the job done. It just doesn't get it done very well. You just want it in maybe a guest bedroom or the study or somewhere that it's not really going to be looked at all that often. You just want it as a bit of a reminder for some family photos. Then sure, the Bashoi will get the job done. For me personally, I would spend that little bit of extra money and get the Knicks over this. But that's just me. What about you? Have you got a photo frame? How do you find it? Have you not got a photo frame and are you considering buying one? Or are you just dead set against photo frames? Leave your thoughts and comments in the box down below. Thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully I will see you in the next video.